There's a lot of news going on right now about Facebook shutting down Zoom access to go live into a Facebook group. In this video, you're going to learn that all is not lost. You can still use Zoom. You can still have your filter and your green screen and your ability to share screens and bring on guests and go live into your Facebook group. It's just not as easy as it was before. What Facebook has done is eliminated the app connector, the third party app connector. So if you remember when you first connected Zoom into your group, you had to go into the group, go down to apps and, and like connect Zoom in there. That will no longer work as of April 22nd. Now, as of the time of this recording, we really don't know why. Maybe Facebook's coming out with something new. Maybe there's more going on. But what we do know is those apps are no longer going to work. You're still going to be able to use Zoom. You're just going to have to set it up a little bit differently. And you have to kind of set it up on the fly as you're going live. So you're going to want to plan for a little bit more time than you normally did. So in the past, when you would go into Zoom, you would just click on go live into Facebook and you it was just easy. Now you're going to have to just copy and paste some fields in and you're going to have to kind of you're going to have to go through a little bit of a process. I will tell you the first time it's a little bit tricky, but once you do it like anything else, once you've done it three, four five times, you're going to be a pro. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. There's also a workbook you can download with pictures so that you can't miss it. If you need help, let me know. Here you go. We're gonna start in Zoom and we have to give Zoom permission to do these custom live streams. So go to Zoom, log in as you, and you're gonna go into your account. From there, you're gonna go into settings. It's about two thirds of the way down. You're gonna click on settings. And then you're gonna go into in meeting advanced. From here, you're gonna scroll down to the section that talks about live streaming right here. Allow for live streaming of meetings. And you're gonna turn on custom live streaming service. All you do is click that little button and then click save. And that's it. You've now allowed for using these stream keys inside of Zoom. Next, I'm gonna show you how to get those stream keys. Now we're inside of Facebook and I am in a test group, but you would be in your group. You are gonna go ahead and click on live video. If you don't have this button, which by the way is a custom setting that you can create or set up inside of your group, you're gonna click on this write something area. And then you're gonna click on these three little dots where it says more. And then you're gonna click on live video. Now you are not going live yet. You've got a lot of other things to set up here, but you're gonna go ahead and click on go live. Now, normally this brings up this live producer and you are selecting your webcam and your microphone and you're just going. This time around, you're going instead of this webcam. So here's me, hi. You're gonna click on streaming software instead. And down here in this next box down, you see streaming software setup. Click on advanced settings and pull that arrow down. And now you have two links that you're gonna to wanna to copy and put somewhere. Copy and put it onto a note or a email or Google Drive, whatever you want to do. Uh, we can do this one at a time, but you're gonna copy the stream key and you're gonna copy the server URL. Now, while we're right here, I just wanna share that you can turn on this persistent stream key. And what that does is it allows you to keep this same exact code all the time. This is specific to your group. So if you have multiple groups, you're gonna to have to do this in multiple places, okay? So you're gonna copy and paste both of those. And next, I'm gonna show you where you paste those into Zoom in order to connect the two. All right, we're back in Zoom and we're actually in, we've actually started the meeting we're gonna go live from and into our Facebook group. Um, I'm just turning, I'm leaving the camera off so that it's not distracting. At the very bottom are your menu options um, inside of Zoom. And you're gonna click on the three little dots that say more. You click on that and now you have live on custom live streaming service. You're gonna click on that. That's what we enabled the first time we were in Zoom. You're gonna click on that and it's gonna pull up this window. This is where you're gonna copy and paste those keys from your Facebook group into the um, correlating space. So I'm going to do this step by step so you can watch me. So I'm going to toggle over to my Facebook group where I've, I'm already ready to go live here. I'm going to copy my stream key. 
going to go into Zoom. Oops, this Zoom. And that's this middle one. That's my stream key. Uh, then I'm going to grab the streaming URL, which is the bottom one. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that into both of the other spots. And then I am ready to click go live. All right. These two are the same top and bottom. And the middle one is the streaming key. Okay. I'm going to hit go live. It's going to connect. Just ignore the last pass. That's my password connection app. Um, it's going to be connecting your streaming service from Zoom into your Facebook group. And don't worry about this if this happens. This, this, this happens regularly, not all the time, but sometimes. You're going to go back into your Facebook group, and now you can see that your Connect video source is now connected. And what you're seeing here in the window is Jamie Hain in Zoom. Because I'm not live on camera, that's why you see this. If I turn my camera on, and I go back into here, oops, turn my camera on. Why is it not turning on? There we go. How many clicks does it take? Hi. Okay, now if I'm in my Facebook group, it it, there is a delay. It's going to take, it, it's, it's, it's actually shocking how long the delay is. See, it's now clicking back and forth like I was doing, okay? So once I've got that, now I know my video is, feed is there. Now I've got to complete my post details. That is over here, add post details. So I'm going to, I'm going to do my title, test, and my description, and save. Once I input those, now that one is green, and now I'm ready to go live. So now I click the go live button, and now I am live in my Facebook group through Zoom. So let's go ahead and do live. Video is starting just like normal. You know how this is. Now I am live through Zoom. So I'm gonna click back to the Zoom. This is where I am live. Just know that there is a delay. The other thing that's important is you will not see comments here. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have Facebook up on another window or on your phone so that you can see the comments there and engage and interact with your people. And that's how you now live stream through Zoom into your Facebook group.